Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan with Elise, and today I am sharing with you the newest Casthetic Plans sticker book, and this is called Tropical Abstract. Um, I will say at the time of filming this, I don't know when the release date is, but I will have it in the description of this video and I will have it as a pinned comment also on the video. So definitely make sure that uh, you take a look there to see when release is. This feels like a thicker book compared to usual. I can't, one, two, three, four, five, I don't work. I feel like I should tell you, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's probably a 40 page book. 31, 32, 33, 34, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. This is a 45 page book. This is a big sticker book. I don't know the price of it, but um, I'll have that hopefully linked as well. So Tropical Abstract by Casthetic Plans. And this is going to be a really cool and unique sticker book. So we have a lot of fun abstract designs here and these are on clear and there will be two pages of them. And then look how cool this is. Like what a fun combination. You kind of have like the bullseye and the butterfly and the dots and everything is layered in a really cool way. And this is one page on paper and one page on clear. Then we have these really cool silhouettes with those layers also. One page on paper and one page on clear. And then some really pretty tropical florals. The little butterflies in there too. Paper and clear. And then the boxes that are going to coordinate with those colors. So two pages of those, and you have the bullets over here and then the bigger stickers, and two pages of those. Then we have the pre-made layers. So if like me, you struggle a little bit with trying to figure out how to layer things, these are pre-made for you. And these are both, of course, on paper. Anytime you'll see a box, they'll be on paper. Now we have these really cool like black scenes that I think could be really pretty on their own, but also combined with other stickers. So we have one page, or two pages of black on clear. And then I love the black palms. These look to all be on clear, which will make it great for layering. And then we have some different strips here. So you've got the suns, we have little glitter, and then like swatches that are really cool. Like with neat textures. So two pages, these are on clear. And then you have a whole set here, two whole sets on clear. These could also be really cool to like cover up days of the week in your planner. And then we have some smaller ones. So a lot of these, this is where the bigger page count of the sticker book is coming in. And then this is just one whole page. There's nothing cut out here. This is just a whole sticker that you can rip up and use in different spots. This is a really beautiful pattern. Then we have boxes, including some um, kind of sunset colored boxes. So we don't usually see multicolored in one, but those are really pretty, like kind of ombre. And the same thing with the bullet points. And we have the sidebar, the double box and header in that same style and two pages of this. And then here's how the pre-made um, elements are, but this is how you can do this, is have the sunset and then the black stickers over it. How pretty is that? This is such a unique and cool sticker book. And okay, I'm obsessing over this part because I don't know that would have occurred to me, even though I felt like it was somewhere there in the back of my mind or on the tip of my tongue, but I wasn't getting there. <laughs> now we have this pink, green, and black. These are stunning. This color, combination here with the gold too is absolutely beautiful. We have one set of paper and one set of clear and then all of these individually. And then some of the abstract, these are on clear. Two pages are both on clear. And these come kind of with their own boxes, but they're not box shapes, they're just different shapes. 
and then the coordinating boxes. I love that there's extra. I feel like usually you get one page of this and one page of this, and now you have two of each. So I like that change, and that's also contributing to the higher page count. And then we have these pre-made layers. So pretty. I felt like when I first opened this, this set was my, my favorite, but now that I'm seeing this, I'm like really obsessed with it. I want to use it now, but I feel like it's August themed. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, this is the <laughs> Tropical Abstract. Let's do some planning. Okay. Now, as I mentioned at the time of filming this, I don't know when this sticker book is going to release, but because I already have my planner done for the week of July 8th, today we are going to set up my big planner for the week of July 15th. So I think that I've got to go for this really cool like sunset theme. I just feel like it's what's speaking to me with this sticker book and we got to do it. Now where I want to figure something out is over here because typically this would be like a double box. We do still have double boxes so I think what I'm gonna do is try to rework this a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of sticker surgery over here. And it may take me a sec to figure out, but I think that ultimately we'll get it. I probably could have not done that that way and just created a scene. You know what, let's see if I can do it. This is where like, I'm not as confident in my layering skills. But if I have that sticker to reference, we might be able to do it here. Hmm. Okay. We're going to try. I need my tweezers though. I'm going to try to recreate that sticker, but we need a white pen. Although now that I'm looking at this, I kind of just want to go over here. I don't know that I need to recreate it because I don't want it to be over here because then I won't be able to do the double box. So what I was thinking of doing here, I might still be able to do. Just bear with me while I figure this out. So I think that if this goes over here and then this goes here, to cover that box. I still want this little part. Does it go that way? Hmm. I'm gonna do a little bit of ripping here, which is not normally something I would do, but I just feel like it's gonna make sense right now. Okay. Then we wanna put this down here. And then we still need some more of like this right there. And I'm not going to cover up that line because I don't need it. Because we'll have this, although you can now see this underneath. We're just going to go with it. I'm not going to be that particular because I'm trying something different here. And then can I get away with this right here? I feel like maybe I can. I mean, looking closely, it's obvious, but I think that maybe I did it. Now, we did lose the top of the sun, so that's something that I should probably fix, although I may not have a sun small enough for that one. Um, you know what I can do here? We're going to make the most of this sticker. We're going to cut this heading box off and add this so that it'll make sense with that top piece cut off. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. This is gonna go, if I go a little bit closer, I won't have any of that orange. You know what, I'm not gonna be able to get it that close. So we're just gonna do this. And then I'm gonna take my white pen. And that's where we're gonna cover the orange. All right, I think that that works. That makes sense. 
I don't know why it was such a struggle to get there. I think that I just needed it to like work in my brain before I put it anywhere else. Now I want to cover up, I think maybe all of this. And I wanna do another kind of sunset scene over here. So let's cover that. And we're going to need, if I wanna sort of make that same pattern, I think we need this one. I feel like with Casthetic Plans sticker books, differently from a lot of other sticker books, I have that urge to be a little bit more artistic and I am not, but these, these sticker books give me like a little bit of a head start sort of, or kind of like an option. I don't know if the option is the right word. It gives me the tools to have a little bit more creativity in my planner than I normally would. Okay, look at that, that's pretty. Now we need the black stickers. Kind of going all around here. So this was kind of what I wanted here. So on the right side, we did like the scene on the beach. So I think here, I kind of wanted to do this, but then I also wanted to use up some more of the space. So we're gonna use this. And let's lift up here. We're gonna put this right over that. Look how cool that looks. And let's get some of the birds in. I know that there was like a wider bird scene somewhere, like a more clustered scene. I thought there was anyway. Oh, is it there? No. There we go. This is what I was looking at. I think we're going to do the little beachy umbrella right here. I have room for it. I do. And then we'll do the birds. The birds. This will go kind of across here. Oh, it's so pretty. Even with the birds there. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it makes me happy to look at. Now, I've sort of set up both of these so that the rest of the functionality will kind of be in here. So what we're going to do is just go ahead. Actually, not Monday. Um, no, because you know what? I'll be driving home Monday from Montreal. So I can do a to-do list. I think I may want to do a small to-do list. I'm going to hold off on continuing that. Tuesday is back to real life. So Tuesday gets a normal sized to-do list and so does Wednesday. And then for the rest of the week, we're just gonna continue. I'm setting up this planner as though I'm home this weekend. I don't know yet what my weekend will look like, but what I do if plans change is that, um, Typically, I'll use the lines for journaling. So I think, I don't know yet if I'm going to actually put bullet points down. But that's one way to give myself the flexibility, like when plans change. Okay, now before... I do anything else. I was thinking about Monday and I was thinking maybe a quote. So I have Summer Allure here by Live Love Posh. And I think that we're going to use this Paradise Found sticker. I think that it's really pretty with this. And then we can do a heading box. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I wanted to use all of this like ombre color heading box. Whoops. I didn't really think about that, did I? We got to go higher. 
I thought that this color would be really pretty to use throughout. So, but I needed to be mindful of how much space I left. So I, I needed to be able to write and we'll put these here and then continue since we have enough. It's just like another little pop of color. I feel like these are a little bit closer in color, but that's because it's kind of an ombre style. So then we just need three more, two, three. I'll move this back over. This is such a pretty sticker book. I definitely want to bring in more purple boxes because I feel like there's not a ton of purple in this spread compared like so far. So, but this sticker book, I'm realizing the boxes in here do not have, there's not purple, there's the red and the orange. So one thing that I can do is use a sidebar sticker here. And something to layer with it that's going to feel a little bit more purple. Hmm. Let's see. I think that if we do it here, it'll be good, but I do want to make sort of a layered element. So let's take this out and we're going to put this right here. Then this will sit kind of on top of that. I can tell that this is going down crooked, so I'm trying to hold this piece up while also getting this to go down straight. Oh, it's still crooked. It's fine. And then we need my knife. Just trim that off. Perfect. Okay. So that's there, but I feel like we should do something at the top. So let's take one of those suns and put this to the side in case I want to bring it back. And then I'm going to take a sun sticker. Whoops. I just sliced it, but I actually was going to cut it in half. So that works. It's just a little bit sloppier than it was going to be. But this is what I was going to do with it. Put it right there and then maybe take a little bird. That's the one thing to be mindful of with tweezers is the accidental <laughs> slicing that happens. All right, <clears throat> we need, we have some more of these little pre-made layers that I think are pre-made elements that I think could look really cool. Like maybe this one, I'm just not sure what would go with that. Let's see what my choices are. Oh, I still have this other piece though. So what if, well, let's cover up the note. Sorry, I'm like losing what I'm doing. We'll cover up the note piece and then put this here and maybe lift this up for this to kind of come out. We've got some extra space. That space needs to be dealt with. So this is also down crooked. I don't know why I'm having a hard time like getting things straight today. Actually, I think, no, I was gonna say that's not crooked, the sticker beneath it is. I think maybe they both are. So we're gonna use undo. And let's lift this up put it back down a little bit better. And then we'll put some sort of leaf coming out the left side. I may need to trim this one more. Actually, we'll trim it off the side. And that kind of helps fill up some of that space. And it kind of connects these two as well, which I like that look of. Put right here. Perfect. Okay, now let's get to regular functional boxes. This has mostly been decor and checklists. So we have two pages of boxes here. So I'm going to do these. We're gonna do a little bit of, of stacking because I love 
a double box. And then I can use some more because we have some more of these purple. I don't want to use all of them just yet. But let's do two over here. So maybe this one here. I'll put this one with it. And then I want to replicate this on Thursday. Actually, I'm only going to have one more of that exact size. So I'm going to put this big one here. And then on Thursday, I can replicate Tuesday. I mean, on Saturday, I can replicate Tuesday exactly. That's one of those tricks that I try to do. If I have, if I can't use all the same stickers here, I try to alternate it so that the end has it and then the middle has something different. Um, Friday and Sunday. I don't really have to worry about what I did down here because we don't have any stickers at the top over there. So I think that I'd like be this. I can't quite choose my colors right now. Let's put that down. And we need a smaller orange. It's going to go here. And then I think these two can go here. I just can't decide because I feel like that's a lot of red. We kind of need maybe red up here will be better. All right. That works. Um, we have a little bit of space right here. I wonder if there's a similar quote to Paradise Found in Summer Allure that I can use. Like vacay mode, but I'm not going to be on vacay, and that's going to make me sad <laughs> to have vacay mode in my planner. Um, maybe we can do tropical vibes. I don't know. I don't know that it's really necessary. I could probably bring in a couple of birds over here. Let's see. If I pull this up, I just don't want to rip them again. Come on. There we go. I think that that helps. Okay. That looks cute. The final thing that I was thinking about, but I don't actually think that doing it in this would enhance the spread, is take these little sun stickers and put them in between these. But I, I think that there's a lot of color happening in here and I really love how this came out. I can't wait to use it. I just don't know that adding even more color is really going to do anything. So I think that we're gonna leave it here. Um, as a reminder, I'll link the sticker book release details in the description of the video. I just don't have them yet. I know when that there's been a little bit of a delay um, in customs. So I hope that you'll be able to get this in your hand soon. But um, I think that's a wrap. So again, description and description will have release info. If you are shopping, I do appreciate you using my link. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time.